Jesse in Massillon, Ohio. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seen Mo Better, looking Mo Better. And I'm going to show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling while I cut the Oakley. Oh, yeah, let's start with that. The Oakley 8092, the Pitchman Carbon, and the 55 eye size color 03, the gray smoke. I'm going to install 174 index transitions gray lenses with Crizal Sapphire and the Essilor Ideal Advanced Digital Freeform Progressive Lens. That's a lot to say and try and remember. Your Oakley case, your Oakley cleaning cloth, and inside, of course this doubles as a, as a carrying bag as well as cleaning cloth, um, but inside is again the Pitchman Carbon comes a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And of course this is the 8092 color 03, the gray smoke and the 55 eye size. And on the inside of this temple, Pitchman Carbon, which means it has the carbon fiber temples. Very strong, very lightweight, awesome frame and the Transitions Gen 8 gray lenses are going to look great in here. So let me begin. I'm going to uh, take the lenses out of your, the demo lenses out of your frame. And of course, you're going to receive all the manufacturer's original packaging as it comes from Oakley. Put the frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Program the shape into the computer. Your secret agent 2014. I'm going to hit the start button a little stylus is going to pop up and go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality you buy a genuine authentic oakley frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses my receipt has my federal id tax number so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase whether they're prescription or not now the shape is about to pop up onto the computer screen we're going to move on to the next screen your pupillary distance is a total of 64 so 32 point i the computer starts at 32.5 so i just have to tap that minus button one time i do want to raise the optical center height up where the segment begins at 18 change the layout screen to progressive from single vision now you have the Essilor ideal advanced digital freeform progressive lenses i've already got them dotted up so i'm going to place them onto the platform now this is a block or as i like to call it jenny from the block i need to attach two double-sided adhesive stickers to your lenses of which i've got two here the black side is the sticky side i'm going to line this up onto the first block put it on the platform do the same thing now for the second one, pull the paperweight to make the black side sticky. On the back, that silver button is a magnet. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. Place that there and get everything lined up. And hit that button. The arm's going to come down, place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Same pupillary distance, same optical center height. Nothing needs to be changed. Pull the paperweight to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Line up the lens. Hit that button. The arm's going to come down place the block onto the left lens. Now this is the edger. This costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. It's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter. Then you can cut your own lenses at home and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs to do it for you. Now, I should also back up and say I am an authorized Oakley dealer, but I've been told that as a small independent optician, I'm not legally allowed to have pictures of the frames with prices on my website. So if there is a frame you want, just email me, go to the contact me button and do that. There's also a page on the website. I, I will include a link in the description below of how to order Oakley's from me. And let me begin i'm going to wake up the computer job number 2001 2014 2014 the reason why i do that so years from now should you ever want new lenses for this frame i can mail them right to your home and you won't need to mail the frame back to me this is set for polycarbonate but we're going to do high index 1.74 index the thinnest lens by law that you can have in this country i'm not going to polish the edge of the lens 
I am going to put a safety bevel on the back concave surface of the lens. And one thing I want to do before I start, because these are high index lenses, it's a little bit gummy, so I want to empty out the trap. This is the optical sawdust that comes off the lenses while it is cutting. I want to empty that because high index lenses are a little bit gummy and it can clog the filter. So I want to empty out as much as I can before I get started. That's something you normally don't see in the videos. And I put this little curtain there, cheap shower curtain, so if I drop this card, it doesn't fall in the bucket of water. So, press that on there firmly. The other thing you can do with high index lenses, you can tell if the sound, the lens material. So this is the polycarbonate that I normally use. It's a little bit higher pitched. High index plastic. Has a little bit more bass sound. You can almost tell the lens material by the sound. So, press that on there firmly. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles. Why? Because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. I'm going to keep telling that joke until you guys laugh at it. You have no choice in the matter. I'm the captain. We're going to do things my way. Hit the green arrow which is start. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens will be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the right lens. And then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. And here's something you normally don't see. Water is going to spray onto your lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, but plastic, high index plastic, and Trivex lenses cut wet meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Woo! The other thing about high index, they stink. They smell like sulfur. They smell like rotten eggs while they are cutting. So, I wish there was smell-o-vision so you guys could smell this, but oh well. But again, your lenses are made out of um, high index plastic, also known as 1.74 refractive index. They are the thinnest by law that we can get in this country. Now, Jesse does not have a strong prescription, but he has 174 in his other lens in his other frames. He loves how lightweight they are. I told him that was overkill to spend the extra $129.99 on the 174. He said he didn't care. He wears these all the time. Wants them as comfortable as possible. I understand. So, okay, you can have it your way. You can always specify whatever you want and I will make it happen. I will give you the pros and cons of everything and then you decide. But you have the Transitions Gen 8 gray lenses. You also have Crizal Sapphire, which I will demonstrate the transitions later. But the Crizal Sapphire is three treatments in one. The first treatment is it reduces glare, particularly driving at night in the rain. But street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights and such. Now the second feature it goes by the initials ARC, which stands for anti-reflective coating. So out comes the lever with the spinning disc. That's what's going to apply the safety bevel to the back surface of the lens. But the, the anti-reflective coating reduces reflection. So when people are looking at you, it makes for much better eye contact. There is no anti-glare on this lens. You can see how the fluorescent lights reflect off the lens in my right hand. It's reduced out of the ones in my left. So it makes for much better eye contact. Plus, if you take selfies, you're less likely to see your phone in the lens. Or if someone takes a picture with a flash, you're less likely to see the flash <coughs> in the lens. The third feature that I like is that Crizal put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. The machine that applies the Crizal Anti-Glare costs well over a million dollars. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. Your lens has to go through a, a cleaning procedure with an acid bath to wash in between the coatings and then allowed to dry. So because it takes so long, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there, as I mentioned, to protect your time and investment. So we're going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner, press down with our thumbs, it snaps right in. We'll do the same thing now for the left lens. We're going to now the, place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or tonight I'm calling it the Jesse. It's already been flipped over to L. L is Latin for not right. Hit the green button just like before the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens will be traced again by the two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. 
and you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the left side of the frame and just like before it's measuring the thickness of the lens to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which oops that's the wrong end you got none you got no edge thickness there Jesse none you know I've got a smaller flashlight I just can't find it so go ahead and take this block off pull this sticker away use my hand approved drying method throw that back in there add to my sticker collection let's go ahead and I want to make sure that that spot is a little bit darker all invisible bifocals have two laser marks engraved 34 millimeters apart on the right hand side you also have the number 22 which stands for your bifocal strength which stands for two and a quarter but I just want to darken that I'm gonna if you guys missed any of that let me recap so I'm gonna come down here place the dot in my lensometer spin the axis wheel to 105 then read the power and I am getting I'm getting hungry that's what I'm getting now I'm getting minus one and a quarter going away from the one towards the two we're one quarter of the way there that's because you have, you are nearsighted you need five steps of correction for farsighted so you're at one and a quarter diopters once it, your glass is off everything is much too large so that's why your lens is minified down to the correct size once it's the correct size you need another one and a quarter diopters of astigmatism correction uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike with the letters p and f so you have two curves on your eye a spherical curve and an astigmatic curve and it's how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp and we turn it to the 105th meridian a straight line is 0 to 90 to 180 we're going to turn that to to 105 just past the 90th meridian so let's check that second curve on your eye and when I read the power I am getting 250 exactly halfway between 2 and 3 that's because if someone had borrowed a dollar 25 from you and then they borrowed another dollar 25 they would owe you 250 that's where we're at 250 in the red now your left eye you need four steps of farsighted correction but still the same amount one and a quarter steps of astigmatism correction hang on for one second I just want to make sure the UPS driver picked up my package so I send out some packages overnight to the labs there's some Oakley frames I can't cut lenses for the there's some safety glasses and uh, some trickier shaped frames so I'm gonna check this too out the door um, but yeah it's uh, I left him a note there was two packages outside the building with a note saying thank you Dante Dante's my driver he picked those up after hours I got I tell you what every company is only as good as a support network I have them bringing me the lenses in the morning and then he picks the stuff up the packages that I can't cut to deliver to be shipped to the labs overnight I love my support team from the post office to UPS I'll be using FedEx in the future those guys are great so we're going to take this off as I was saying you you need one less step of farsighted correction in your left eye same amount of astigmatism correction and we turn that fine tune knob to 85 now the add that's your bifocal strength is two and a quarter it means in addition to what's on top so here's what's unique you're one and a quarter in the right eye but you need plus two and a quarter to read so really your bifocal strength is one you could use a over-the-counter one the only problem with over-the-counter reading glasses they don't correct for your astigmatism if you were just balancing a checkbook and people will say what's a checkbook okay if you were looking at your if you're only going to be reading like a menu for a minute or two that's fine you can use some over-the-counter reading glasses a plus one or one and a quarter but if you were to read for hours on end because of your uncorrected astigmatism in over-the-counter reading glasses you would get eye fatigue you will not get that with these so let's see if this fits I'm gonna press that on there firmly in case I need to take it down some more tuck it in at the outside corner press down with my thumbs it snaps in there perfectly take the block off use my hand approved drying method use my back of the hand use the back of the arm throw that back in there ooh I didn't call glass come down here there's a little bit of a black dot left for your pupillary distance the optical the fitting height turn the axis wheel to 85 which corresponds to the astigmatism correction in your left eye 
the power I'm getting is minus one. Minus one, you have one and a quarter steps of astigmatism correction. When I check that second curve, we're getting two and a quarter, one tick mark going away from two towards three. So that is cut perfectly. Pupillary distance for the right eye and left eye is a total of 64, 32 each. Turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens. We hold it up to the left lens. We're getting 64 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. I want to check the OC, the seg height, the optical center height, the position of wear. It goes by a lot of names. P-O-W, position of wear. That is perfect. Now, this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses, I've mentioned that when you get these in the mail, and of course, free shipping anywhere in the U.S., but when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, when I take mine off, I'm part of that 80%. When I press down on mine, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. I'm wearing the BMW 6... Uh, what is this? The I can't see with them off. Um, BMW 6045, 49 eye size, the color 50. <laughs> Sorry. Let me move my GoPro camera so I can put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. Flip these over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly. By the way, that carbon, carbon fiber temple is amazing. Very strong, very lightweight. But I just want to make sure they're lined up and not, neither one is askew like that. The other really nice thing about this frame, there's no screws holding the temple on there. That is a ball joint. I had an orthopedic surgeon say that's exactly the same way they are doing knee replacement surgery and hip replacement surgeries. Now they put a ball joint in there made out of titanium, very strong, never rust, never corrode. So this is what your lenses look like before I have activated them, meaning I'm exposed them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. By the way, Jesse, I send out a selfie request to have your picture on the website. I would love two pictures, one with them clear indoors, one with them activated outside to show how nice that gray is going to look with the gray frame. I also send out cleaning instructions, not only on how to care for your frame and lenses, but on the three cleaning cloths you got, the premium microfiber cloth that I provide, your Crizol cleaning cloth, the Oakley carrying bag cleaning cloth, and also how to care for your case so they will last for years as well. I field test every cleaning cloth to make sure that it works so when you get these in the mail and if you see a wrinkle in here you know that it works you can't say that it doesn't because i've tested every one before shipping and i keep seeing dust getting on the lens because all this optical sawdust from me cutting lenses so the this is what they look like clear i'm going to expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light now as you can see it takes about 30 to 45 seconds to turn dark a little bit longer when you come back inside 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. now jesse this is important and everyone else listening pay attention all transition lenses get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they've been exposed after that they will work for years at maximum performance the only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, the, we, they will get darker. Come on, Jesse, we talked about that. Don't you remember? I'm just teasing. But they're also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. Now, the, um, if you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like this video. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell so you get future notifications when I upload videos. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as FreePrescriptionLenses.com. On Twitter is FreeRxLenses. Um, again, I am an authorized dealer. There will be instructions in the description below of how to order from me. The, you can also click on, that will give you a direct link, but if you don't want to go to that, you can click on the Contact Me button on the website, which is FreePrescriptionLenses.com. Just tell me what frame you want, the model number, the size, and the color. I'll check on the price and availability and get back with you. 
the so this frame by the way the Oakley 8092 Pitchman Carbon with the carbon fiber temple sells for $233. The Essilor Ideal Advanced Digital Freeform Progressive Lens adds $149.99. The upgrade to 174 high index material is $129.99. The Transitions Gray is $99.99. And the Crizal Sapphire with the blue hue to it. You know it's sapphire when there's a blue reflex to the lens. That's what it's called. When you see the reflection at certain angles and certain lighting, you'll see a little bit of a blue hue. You know that it's sapphire. That adds $139.99 for a total of $752.96 tax-free. I point that out now because a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax. However, since I'm in North Carolina, North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. So there is no tax on medical devices. So I will always be tax-free with any purchase you make from me. So you got that going for you. Again, thanks for the purchase. Thanks for watching. And now hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.